here with the, the next big thing from Texas, Rio Grande Valley's own Sammy Castaneda here in Corpus Christi. Uh, main event for the uh, Rainer Promotions card. What's it like being uh, the main event? I mean, it's something I, it's happened before already, so I'm kind of getting used to it now. It's a, it's a great, you know, this is out of my city, so this is Corpus, pretty close, but it's it's a great, uh, I feel honored to be the main event out here, somewhere away from my city. And uh, we're gonna show up, man. I saw the so good, good amount of tables, like always, and we're gonna have a lot of fan base out here. I wanted to ask you about that. You always travel, you, you always have a huge cheering section. You traveled well last time. Uh, same thing, you're gonna have a big cheering section behind oh, yeah. you here in Corpus? We're always gonna have a big cheering section wherever we go. So, yeah, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of people. Uh, it's gonna be sold out, I know it is. And uh, I just can't wait to have a great fight night. We're looking forward to it. Uh, I, I saw you at the weigh-in. You look jacked. You look bigger and more muscular than I've seen you in the past. I know you added um, a, a strength and conditioning coach. Talk about that and how that's aided you. Yeah, that's what we worked on. We worked on uh, getting straight, more explosive, uh, more mu adding more muscle into the body, and uh, it's been it's paying off. You know, the weight cut was great, easy. The nutrition, nutrition is on the way. So this is the first time we did all of that. So this is the fight I feel like. I was, we're gonna see a lot of results. Like I was knocking out sparring partners during training during camp. It's gonna be, this is great things are gonna come. Great things are gonna happen. Your your uh, your opponent Julio Chavez Infante uh, from Mexico. He's aggressive. What are you expecting tomorrow night? And and, and what do you have planned for tomorrow? I expect the Mexican in front of me a fight. That's what I expect. I expect the Mexican blood in front of me. So that's what we're gonna get. We're prepared for anything he comes, anything he brings. So uh, we're prepared for it all and and. I'm just, uh, I feel like I got an army right now in front of, with me, so I feel like it's going to be a great fight. I know you don't like doing this, but I'm going to ask you every time. I'm going to keep asking you. You got a prediction for it? You want to make a prediction for t uh, tomorrow night? I'll come out with the win. Keep that undefeated record in place. Yeah, you, you're getting close. When do you think, assuming everything goes well tomorrow, I know you got a live opponent and then you don't look past any opponent, but assuming you do win and you do get past uh, your opponent, when do you want to be back in the ring and, and, and what do you want next? By August, by August, September. August, September, and then, um, yeah, that's that's the plan. I, I got to talk to your coach uh, a couple weeks ago in, in depth. His plan is something big in, in, in next May, about a year from now. Oh, yeah. Um, how many fights do you want in the interim, and, 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 you know, what's your plan for the next 12 months? To get that, to get a title fight, get a world, get a world title fight, and I feel like it's going to happen within a year, within May, June, next June. I think it's going to be time. And I feel like it's gonna become sooner, maybe, because the way that we're working on now, what we added to our camp, I feel like we added all the pieces to our puzzle, and I feel like now it's gonna come a lot sooner than we expected it, and that's what I feel like is gonna happen. You got a great team behind you. You've been making a ton of progress. Speaking of world titles at 140, there's a, a 140 world uh, title fight tomorrow night. TV Mo Lopez uh, challenging for Josh Taylor's WBO. Who do you got and why? Uh, I got Josh Taylor. I got Josh Taylor. I think Josh Taylor is just naturally bigger, stronger, a um, lot more experienced as well, kind of. In a way, yeah, he's more experienced. He's undisputed. He's Tio's got a win over Loma. Huh? Tio's got yeah, a win over Loma. A win Loma. That's what I was saying. So I, I might have to hold back a little bit on that one. But Josh Taylor is just naturally big, and he's a dog. I'm he's taking Taylor, too. But those are future opponents as well, so. I'm saying, are you ready at that stage of your career? Where, well, Taylor's probably going to no, go to 47. Gonna go to 47, yeah. but, but Tio. Ryan Garcia, all those. Ryan Garcia, I know you know Regis too. You look yeah, at these guys and like I, I'm gonna be, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna be with Regis next next camp. I know that. So yeah. Is he the best he's guy at 140 right now? Uh yeah, like he, I feel like he's one of them. He probably is. He has the most dog in him. I'll say that. And then the, like the fight with him and Josh Taylor was crazy. I was watching this yesterday or the day before. Man, that fight was crazy. Funny story about that. He was uh I would he was at the uh, Hooker uh Jose uh, Carlos Ramirez yeah. fight. And I, I saw him uh, backstage, and I said, are you really going to go over to Scotland and fight him? And he's like, I'll go anywhere and fight him. I said, they're not going to give you a good decision. And then, uh, I mean, it was a great fight. He won, right? Regis won that fight. I think Regis I thought Regis won, won that fight. I, 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 I wasn't won. surprised I when they took won, it from him. It was him. close, but Regis won it. But it was a dog fight. But yeah, of course, they're not going to give it to him over there. Not. Then the other one, fellow Texan, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. What do you got? That was a 50-50 fight, but I got Crawford, man. I think Crawford's timing, uh, boxing skills, I think it's going to take a toll. But then with Errol Spence, man, that guy is a dog, bro. Like, they're both dogs, but the thing is, Errol Spence, the, he 
what their nutrition is with them and all that stuff. Man, but to get to you guys, you look like a different animal. So, they can be like our property. Hey, Crawford. Money on property. I'm kind of the same way. It's 50-50. I change my mind every day on who I think is going to win. Yeah. Uh, today, I'm leaning towards Spence. But uh, I change my mind every day on that. Uh, Sammy Castaneda, main event tomorrow, Rangers Promotions. Looking forward to seeing it. Uh, undefeated, super uh, super lightweight. Tell them where they can find you on social media. Uh, that Instagram, that boxer underscore 1303. And Facebook, Samuel Castaneda and Galfino. And uh, we're here, man, ready for Galfino entertainment every time I fight. Looking forward to seeing the next, the next chapter of your incredible story. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah.